Hey everybody, we've gotten quite a few questions on our new DIY port injection kits and how to order and a few questions about the different options. So we thought we would do a video to show you the options, discuss ordering, and hopefully clear up a lot of those questions. So the first thing that we'll do is go to our website, www.fuel-it.com. Then if we come over to DIY it, notice we have a few options there, but we have the N54 DIY port injection kit, the N55 E series, and the N55 F series DIY port injection kits. For this example, we'll go ahead and select the N55, or excuse me, N54 DIY port injection kit. Once we get to this screen, you'll notice that we've got a variety of pictures that show the different options um, with different uh, labeled as such so that you can go through and, and see exactly what it is you're ordering. To discuss our basic port injection kit, when you order the basic port injection kit it does not include the injectors. Um, this is just the fuel rail, the port injection spacer, the OEM gaskets, um, same ones that are used in the intake manifold, the four screws to hold together the port injection rail, the seven uh, elongated bolts for the intake manifold and port injection rail, and then of course the seven lock washers. And then we have the adapter here for the AN6 line that gets installed at this end of the rail. That's your fuel input side. Then we have the plug here for this end of the rail. That is for if you're going to install a return kit or maybe install a return kit at a la later time, um, that's where that plug gets installed. Then we have two small eighth inch NPT plugs. One is for the end of the rail right here where you plug off the end of the fuel rail. And then you can't see on this picture, but we have a new boost reference port that is right here on cylinder six. And so you can plug that or if you choose you can install um, a hob switch or boost reference line there maybe you've got a boost gauge in your car or whatever um, you can go ahead and install that there on any of the platforms and then I'll just go over a couple of quick things on the kit itself the you can see the back side of the rail here. This is a um, silver kit, um, but it is anodized, what they call clear, which is actually just a real light gray. So it just has that natural aluminum uh, looking finish to it. However, it is anodized, so it resists corrosion and is compatible with methanol, ethanol, race gas, and E85, and, and so on. Also, you'll see that we have a very simple um, four screws that um, assemble the port injection rail and the spacer. Uh, nice clean design. Uh, here we have the machined out recess for the HPFP line. When you install this against the head, if this is not machined out, you'll put pressure on that HPFP line and we don't want to do that. Um, here's a better picture of the optional port for the boost reference line and then here you can see we have the OEM gasket specs and then also the little retention tabs that hold your gaskets in place so that those don't need to be siliconed in place or anything like that okay so as I said when you order your kit the basic kit is the $449.95 and then we have the $50 discount that you can get by simply entering the code 50 off DIY at checkout. So first thing that you'll need to do, and we'll just order a minimal kit here to show you what to order should you want to just get the least expensive kit possible, but we'll explain all the, all the options as well. So we'll go ahead and order one for a 135 or 335. If you have one of the other platforms, select that. If you have, you know, say um, some other platform like the, 
um, I'm trying to think right now that the uh, X3 or excuse me X1 or something like that then select other and just let us know that that's what you're ordering the kit for it won't matter for the very basic kit but if you're doing upgraded fuel lines uh, um, ethanol sensor or something like that then we'll need to know that so that we can make sure that you get everything that you need now unless you have your own injectors you're gonna go to well you go to step two no matter what but unless you have your own injectors you'll select the 550 cc injectors um, here if you have your own injectors for 42 millimeter injectors you'll go ahead and select that here if you are targeting you know 650 700 700 plus horsepower on e85 then you're going to want to consider the 750 cc injectors if you're running methanol and using this as a methanol kit then you're going to want to consider the 750 cc injectors probably like 600 horsepower maybe 650 horsepower or so um, really depends on how much fuel you need what your uh, methanol concentration is and so on so the next thing is step three, choose your fuel source. You have to have some sort of fuel adapter. And so we have our new basic adapter here that we have show here. This connects to the HPFP hardline here. We have our new twist lock fitting that um, does away with the plastic insert for the HPFP hardline um, and is just like a 16th turn real quick lock. Um, very nice easy and very secure um, fitting and then your stock um, low pressure line will just go ahead and connect here so this is a very clean easy adapter to install where you don't have to access any of the fuel lines or anything and then of course just the connection at the uh, port injection rail so and if you are running a methanol kit then you would select methanol kit here and then that will enable that includes a 36 inch adapter uh, stainless steel Teflon line adapter for the, your methanol line and then it includes the AN6 quarter inch um, nylon line adapter here um, that you will need for a methanol kit um, so in this case we're just going to do a minimal um, you know port injection kit for say somebody running E85 and 600 horsepower or something like that so you go ahead and select the low pressure fuel line and that's what you're going to be using here's your fuel source and then here we have upgrade your stock low pressure fuel lines now this option is if you want to upgrade all of the fuel lines on the car this is all the way from the tank all the way up to the HPFP and to your um, port injection rail so it's an additional $99 to do that but it replaces all of your stock fuel lines includes the fittings uh, and so on the add the stage 4 LPFP that is a stage 4 our stage 4 LPFP upgrade. The stage 4 LPFP upgrade comes with dual Walbro pumps. Um, one pump runs the stock system so that the tank functions normally. Your, your pickups from the driver's side and so on still function normally and you still have the output from that stock filter assembly. The secondary actually goes straight out the top of the LPFP and has a second fuel line that feeds up to the front of the car. Both of those lines then converge on a, uh, in our 85 compatible external uh, 6 micron filter assembly um, that we have a custom fitting for so that you can have the dual inputs for that. Um, if you do select this option, then you will need to add a return kit as well because in doing this, we bypass the um, stock regulator and you have to have a regulator. So you would go ahead and select the, re the return kit on step seven as well. In this case, we're gonna say no thank you. We don't wanna upgrade any fuel lines. We wanna keep it as inexpensive as possible. Here, next step five is add ethanol sensor and Bluetooth analyzer. This is pretty self-explanatory. This is if you want to add the ethanol sensor and our Bluetooth analyzer. Um, that will also, um, you can run it with the JB4. It integrates with the JB4. So you not only will you be able to see your ethanol content on your Apple or Android device, but you can also 
plug the 0 to 5 volt input into the JB4 and the JB4 can now see what your ethanol concentration is as well so that it can auto scale for you your port injection and so on so in this case we're going to go ahead and say no thank you but if you do purchase this option you must get the upgraded fuel lines because that is what the ethanol sensor installs into so you would need the upgraded fuel lines as well so you would have to select this option step six choose your port injection controller you must run a port injection controller when running a um, port injection kit. We get this question a lot. And the, BM, the JB4 cannot control the injectors without the BMS JB4 controller. So you must add it as well. If you've already got one, say you're upgrading from another kit or you've already got a controller, then you can say, no, thank you, I already have one. Um, but otherwise, if you're running a JB4, we highly recommend that you get the BMS JB4 port injection controller. This integrates well with the JB4, um, allows you to see the feedback signal from the injectors, um, allows you to make adjustments within the JB4 software. It's just a nice, clean solution. If you're not running a JB4, then you would select the split second flash only. This allows the injectors to run separately based on boost and RPM. And so when your RPMs get to a set level and boost gets to a set level, the injector duty cycle matches that curve um, based on the flash that's in the split second. If you think you're going to be upgrading to a JB4 at some point, or maybe you're kind of on the fence about it, then we have the split second JB4 integrated option as well. This would be if you've already got a JB4 and are thinking about, you know, potentially uninstalling it or something along those lines. Then it's flashed for with the JB4 integrated flash. If you don't have a JB4 yet, but think you might be getting a JB4 later, then you would order the flash only controller, which can then later be reflashed with the JB4 integrated software. When we send these out, they're already flashed for you. And that's why we give you the two different options so that you can tell us what you're running and we'll flash that controller for you accordingly. Step seven, the return kit. Um, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, in this case, we're gonna go ahead and say, no thank you, maybe you already got an important injection controller. Okay, so step seven, add a return kit. As I said, mentioned this earlier about the stage four kit, return kit really is for those people that are running about 650 horsepower and above, running 85 or maybe targeting you know 800 horsepower on race gas or, or whatever it is. But generally speaking, those of you that are running uh, 600 horsepower, maybe 650, you don't typically need a return kit. Um, so this option is really for those people that are 650 horsepower above. So we'll go ahead and say no thank you. Add basic port injection tuning and setup. Okay, as a DIY kit, this is a do-it-yourself kit that is priced accordingly. This assumes that you're going to kind of know what you're doing. You're going to get your port injection kit in. You're going to go ahead and assemble it. And then you're going to install it and, and, and kind of do your own tuning, kind of do your own thing. We understand that not everybody is as familiar with that. And we'll need this option. When you add this option, we assemble your port injection kit for you here in-house. And so your kit is already assembled. That said, all fuel lines and additional upgrades that, you, that come from us, those are already all plug and play. So this really has nothing to do with the fuel lines or the port injection controller or the ethanol sensor. All of that stuff comes plug and play. But now the port injection kit is also assembled for you. In addition, we will then review your logs make tuning recommendations for fueling, um, you know, maybe scalers need adjusted, maybe JB4 settings need to be changed, what have you. This is the option that you will choose so that you get that one-on-one -on -one email correspondence with us that helps get your setup dialed in so that your fueling is all complete and you get the most out of your system. Um, so in this case, we'll go ahead and say no thank you. Like I said, we're just doing a bare bones kit. Last but not least, you would just select your fuel or sticker color so that you can rock fuel stickers and um, 
make your car have an additional five or ten horsepower just kidding but anyways all right so then we'll go ahead and we'll add this to the cart everyone there must be a box checked in every one of those selections or it's going to want to prompt you to go ahead and um, make a selection so here we can see reconfirm all the different selections that we've made yes everything looks correct we're doing a bare bones kit so we haven't added anything to it in addition um, for a limited time we have our um, promotional code for this kit um, that takes fifty dollars off the price and so down here at the bottom sorry where it says coupon code we would just say fifty off DIY and go and you'll see it took fifty dollars off of our kit at this point you can then check out and however with the proceed checkout or go straight to PayPal and, and check out that way. So that pretty much concludes our review of the DIY port injection kits and the ordering process. If you have any questions you can get in touch with us at info at fuel-it.com or you can email any one of us individually Dave at fuel-it.com Steve at fuel-it.com or Saprit at fuel-it.com. Again, thank you for watching and let us know if you have any questions.